Hi, welcome to CIDC Nirman. I'm Jayashri Kurup. I'm editor of CIDC Nirman. And I have with me Mr. Devinder Gill from DMRC. He looks up, he's the head of safety. Thank you so much for joining us, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. First of all, congratulations for the awards that you have won, the Vishwakarma Awards. Thank you, ma'am. Let us know what the awards were for. The one was for the uh, safety, health and environment, SHE mm. performance in an ongoing contract. And the other one is for a completed project, which is an underground metro construction project. Okay. These are the two one which we got. Which was the uh, uh, underground uh, construction was which part of the metro? Uh, this was basically our uh, contract CC24, mm. uh, which was on the ring road. Okay. Yeah. Okay, sir. So tell us, uh, you you have set benchmarks of construction. I mean, you were one of the leaders in metro uh, construction. Yeah. Tell us, when it comes to safety, when it comes to underground work, uh, what are the standards that you set, which other metros are following? Yeah, you have very rightly touched upon that way back in 1998 when the construction started. The metro business uh, and the metro construction was a new field in our country. and. Uh, Everybody was looking for uh, how this will be managed uh, in a city like Delhi, yeah. construction projects of that mega scale. We were fortunate to have general consultant with us who had their uh, wealth of experience of undertaking such contracts mm -hmm. and the such works uh, globally. Mm -hmm. So they helped us in developing our standards, mm -hmm. our contract condition and to my own understanding, I have gone through various uh, uh, standards which uh, are followed worldwide. Okay. Our Indian standards are uh, equally uh, comprehensive. Okay. The way, uh, the, the only difference is that uh, we sometime uh, lack in implementing those standards. So DMRC set that standard of making sure that uh, everything which is written in regulation is complied with. Okay. So I think that is a major achievement mm -hmm. that uh, we have uh, achieved uh, a zero tolerance policy for our safety standards. And now this uh, term uh, vision zero, mm -hmm. now everybody is talking about this. This zero tolerance was a culture since beginning for okay. DMRC. That is basically, but otherwise our contractual condition, <coughs> our statutory laws are very comprehensive. In mm -hmm. India, there is no, uh, I can say there is no nothing which is missing hmm. in our standards. Okay. okay. And when it comes to underground construction, hmm. especially in cities like Delhi, Chennai, uh, Mumbai, uh, living cities, uh, old cities, how challenging is that? Tell us a little more about that. Well, uh, our engineers face uh, this challenge every day. <laughs> um, you are constructing an underground network in Himalayas mm -hmm. uh, for a hydroelectric power uh, tunnel project or an NHI project, at least you don't have that challenge of making the public safety as also your uh, major design or your implementation uh, feature. Mm -hmm. uh, in old Delhi like Sadar Bajar or Chavdi Bajar, Bajar where people have actually worked, it has given them a lot of difficult time. So you spend a lot of sleepless nights <laughs> because you have to also look after structures which are more than 100 year old. Right and where people are living. So uh, you are underground, works are happening 20 meter below the surface level uh, on a building which is 100 year plus old, which is not in very good health. Yeah. So you have to continuously keep monitoring the health of the nearby structures okay. as well as the VVIP areas yes. in the national capital of the country, you have to be very careful in terms of the public safety. Mm -hmm. So there are standards, there are British standards, British standard 6164 is the leading standard which helps mm -hmm. and we have followed those. Okay, okay. Uh, do you have a uh, problem with shortfall of uh, labour forces? Uh, both in terms of quantum as well as in terms of their competence. Okay. Uh, it is not uh, us which we are, which yeah. we are facing every metro corporation yes. and every big construction project whether it is housing projects or it is some other projects there is this acute shortage of uh, people who know their job mm -hmm. and people who have that longevity of uh, working in this construction workers are not full-time workers actually mm. they come from their villages when there is no harvesting season right 
they come for a short period of time, they come for three months, four months, they leave the project and you are not very sure whether they will come back to the, the your city or some other city. So it's it's a challenge. It's so a challenge. The yeah. It's a challenge, yeah. This fell down. Receive. Yeah. Okay, please continue. Yeah. So, uh, yes, uh, every construction agency, whether it is client or it is contractor, they are facing this challenge of shortage of manpower, as I said, mm -hmm. number as well as their competency. Mm -hmm. uh, how competent they are, how much they know about their work. Mm -hmm. And uh, organization like CIDC have been doing very good job in uh, competence building, competency building of mm -hmm. workers and it ultimately affects and improves quality, safety as well as productivity. Right. And it's a continuous process? It is a continuous process. The only thing is we have started it late. Uh, <laughs> as a country we have started late. Uh, but now the beginning has been made. Now people are talking about uh, having more productive workers rather than numbers. Right. If you have people who are more productive, even at, I think that's the number will perform better. Uh, do you also encourage your labor force to go in for the BWOC program so that they can get a career path in the industry? Yeah, this encouragement has been uh, long ago. Every client would like their people to be more uh, uh, competent. But how uh, different stakeholder actually participate in this? Right. In a construction business, you have multiple stakeholders. Right. right from your worker who is working at site then the labor suppliers yeah. which bring in and mobilize yeah. these worker yeah. from far off villages yes. of this country then the subcontractors which uh, gets the work offloaded from the main contractor and then the main contractor right. so there are multiple stakeholders and then you have to sensitize and bring on board all the all of Right. all of them right. so that is why it is so it is taking so much of time yeah but you are uh, also pushing it in delhi metro yeah you should not lose heart you should try keep <laughs> trying uh, every organization is trying not only delhi metro yeah. i know of many public work departments yes. uh, as well as central work public work department uh, ministry of defense uh, railways yeah. all are now working on how best we can actually skill certify our people and right. then encourage them to take up uh, their own uh, capacity building. Right. Thank you so much, sir. Such a pleasure talking to you. Thank you. Thank you.